I am honored to have the opportunity to speak to you today about the topic of replication in full factorial design using Minitab. In any experimentation, the investigator endeavors to uncover the relationship between the input variables and the resulting performance of the product or process. In essence, the exploration of input variables and their effect on output is a cornerstone of scientific inquiry and technological advancement. Use a two-level factorial design when each experiment factor has only two levels. Using a two-level factorial design allows researchers to efficiently study the impact of multiple factors at two levels each, helping to identify which factors are significant and how they interact with each other. Let's take an example. The improvement team wants to determine the material type and temperature level that maximize adhesion. The team decided to run two levels design with four replications. Analyze the data from this experiment. Plot the main effect and interaction plot. Analyze the residuals from this experiment. So, what is replication? Replication, simply put, means conducting independent repeat runs of each factor combination. In other words, it involves performing multiple experimental runs with the same factor settings. Replication, in the context of experiments and studies, holds two important properties that are essential for the advancement of knowledge and understanding in any field. The first property is the estimate of the experimental error. The second property of replication is the more precise estimate of the effect. Through replication, researchers can not only validate the initial findings but also refine and enhance the accuracy of the effect being studied. Replicate runs require resetting of factors at the specified levels for each replicated run. This is a crucial aspect of our experiment that ensures the accuracy and reliability of our results. Replication provides an efficient way of increasing the precision of an experiment. The precision increases with the increase in the number of observations. In this example, there are two replications. Choose STAT DOE a factorial a create factorial design. Choose two level factorial default generators. From number of factors, choose two. Click designs. In the designs box at the top, highlight the row for a full factorial. In number of replicates for corner points, enter four. In the factor A, enter temperature. For low, enter 300.4 high, enter 350. In the factor B, enter material. For low, enter A.4 high, enter B, choose options, select randomize runs. The table shows the DOE result created from Minitab. Standard order is the typical order of the experimental runs. Run order is the order of the experimental runs. Choose stat the DOE factorial analyze factorial design. Complete the dialog box as shown below. Click Terms. Verify the dialog box appears as shown below. Click OK. Click Graphs. Under Effects Plots, check Pareto. Under Residual Plots, check 4 in 1. Click OK in each dialog box. A Pareto chart of effects shows which terms contribute the most to the variability in the response. The terms from top to bottom in decreasing order of importance. The chart displays the absolute value of the effects, ensuring that the magnitude of the impact is clearly conveyed, regardless of whether the effect is positive or negative. Any effect that extends beyond this reference line, 1.209 is statistically significant. The Pareto chart shows that temperature and material significantly affect the adhesion. The effect for a factor represents the predicted change in the mean response when the factor changes from the low level to the high level. Effects are twice the value of the coded coefficients and the sign of the effect indicates the direction of the relationship between the term and the response. The coefficient for a term represents the change in the mean response associated with an increase of one coded unit in that term, while the other terms are held constant. In fact, the coefficient is half the size of the effect. One key consideration in interpreting coefficients is the presence of multicollinearity among the terms. To address this issue, 
coefficients are often presented in coded units to minimize the impact of multicollinearity and provide more reliable estimates. Based on the analysis of the coded coefficients table, it has been determined that the terms temperature and material are statistically significant at the alpha equals 0.05 level. This conclusion is supported by the p-values of 0.041 and 0.000 respectively, indicating a high level of confidence in the significance of these factors. Furthermore, it was found that the interaction effect between the variables is not statistically significant, as evidenced by a p-value of 0.315. By excluding the interaction term, the model becomes simpler and easier to interpret. This can be especially important when trying to understand the impact of each individual variable on the outcome. To remove the interaction term from the model, double-click AB in the selected terms box. Click Terms, verify the dialog box appears as shown below. Click OK. In the table of estimated effects, the low p-values, 0.040 and 0.000, for both factors indicate that temperature and material have a significant effect on adhesion. This suggests that both temperature and material play a crucial role in determining the adhesion properties of the material under study. R-square, R-square adjusted and R-square predicted. The coefficient of determination, often referred to as R-squared, is a statistical measure that represents the proportion of variability in the response variable that is explained by the regression equation. In simpler terms, it indicates how well the model fits the observed data. In the context of the specific model being discussed, it is reported that the R-squared value is 84.44%. This means that the model accounts for 84.44% of the variation in the response variable. While the traditional R-squared value assesses the proportion of variation explained by the model, the adjusted R-squared takes into account the potential impact of adding more predictors. When new variables are added to a regression model, the traditional R-squared may increase regardless of whether the additional variables actually contribute to the model's predictive power. This can be misleading, especially when working with a large number of predictors. The adjusted R-squared value will only increase if the new variables significantly improve the model's performance. Use R-square predicted to determine how well your model predicts the response for new observations. A larger R-square predicted value suggests that the model has better predictive ability, as it is able to explain a greater portion of the variability in the response variable. Adjusted R-squared can provide an accurate model that fits the current data, the predicted R-squared determines how likely it is that this model will be accurate for future data. In statistical analysis, the lack of fit test is a crucial tool for assessing the adequacy of a regression model. We obtained a p-value for lack of fit of 0.315. This value is greater than the commonly used significance level, alpha, which is set at 0.05. This result indicates that there is no significant lack of fit in the regression model. Furthermore, this result also suggests that there is a linear relationship between x and y. The regression equation is a powerful tool for describing the relationship between the response variable and the terms in the model. When the regression equation is in uncoded units, it allows us to interpret the coefficients using the natural units of each variable. For a categorical variable, the natural units of the variable are minus 1 for the low level and plus 1 for the high level, just as if the variable was coded. The table of unusual observation indicates that observation 3 is an outlier because its residual is more than two standard deviation from the mean of zero. Residual analysis. Residual analysis is a crucial tool in the field of regression analysis. It allows researchers to assess the validity of their assumed regression model. Errors, or residuals, in statistical analysis refer to the discrepancies between the actual and predicted values. These residuals can then be used to assess the goodness of fit of a model, identify patterns or trends in the data that may have been overlooked, and detect potential outliers or influential data points. The assumption of residual plot is a fundamental concept in regression analysis. 
The first assumption of residual plot is that the residuals should be normally distributed. Another assumption is that the residuals should exhibit constant variance, also known as homoscedasticity. Additionally, the assumption of residual plot includes that there should be no pattern in the residuals. When analyzing data using regression analysis, it is important to assess the normality of residuals to ensure the validity of the model. One commonly used method for this assessment is the normal probability plot, which provides a graphical representation of how well the residuals follow a normal distribution. The points on the normal probability plot roughly follow a straight line, you can assume that the residuals do not deviate substantially from a normal distribution. In statistical analysis, the histogram is a valuable exploratory tool used to display the general characteristics of the residuals including typical values, spread, and shape. In this case, no outliers being observed. Residuals versus fitted values. Upon examination of the data, it is evident that the constant variance assumption remains unviolated. This conclusion is drawn from the observation that the residuals display a random scattering around zero, and their dispersion appears to be consistent across all fitted values. Residuals versus order. The residuals in the plot seem fluctuate in a random pattern around the center line. It violated the assumption of independent if residuals systematically decrease, increase or sudden change as the order of the observations increases from left to right. The factorial plot in Minitab provides a clear graphical representation of the main effects and interaction effects of each factor in the design. Choose STAT DOE factorial factorial plots. From response, select adhesion. Under variables to include in plots, move temperature and material from the available list to the selected list. Click OK. The main effect of a factor is the average influence of a change in the level of that factor on the response. The main effects plot indicates that both temperature and material have significant effects on adhesion. The adhesion reduces as you move from the low level to the high level of the temperature. The adhesion increases as you change from material A to B. Interaction plot shows how the relationship between the response variable and a predictor depends on the value of a second predictor. At temperature equals 300, the adhesion increase when using material B. It shows interaction effect between temperature and material. The cube plot in Minitab is a powerful visualization tool that allows users to simultaneously view three variables in a three-dimensional space. Choose STAT DOE factorial cube plot. Under type of means to use in plots, select fitted means. From response, select adhesion. Under variables to include in plots, move temperature and material from the available list to the selected list. Click OK. Use a cube plot to show the relationship between factors and a response. The combination of temperature of 300 and material B is associated with the highest fitted mean of adhesion value which is 6.0075. Response optimization, also known as parameter optimization, is a crucial step in the process of finding the best combination of variable settings to maximize a single response or a set of responses. Choose STAT DOE factorial a response optimizer. Complete the dialog box as below. Click OK in each dialog box. Based on the optimization plot, the optimal settings for the predictors, temperature and material, are determined to be 300 and B, respectively. The predicted value for adhesion at these settings is 6.0075, with an individual desirability of 0.85386. A full factorial experiment measures all combinations of the experimental factor levels. Use factorial designs to identify variables most strongly influence the response and what factor settings optimize the response. The main effect of a factor is the average influence of a change in the level of that factor on the response. Interaction plot shows how the relationship between the response variable and a predictor depends on the value of a second predictor. Use the optimization plot to determine the optimal settings for the predictors given the parameters that you specified.